Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up a profitable MACD crypto trading bot strategy. And by the end of the video, I will be deploying the bot to live fire. Now, before we get too far into the weeds, if you're not familiar with Quidency, it is an all-in-one crypto trading platform. It includes a trading terminal. It offers over 15 different bot strategies. And it is actually a non-custodial platform. And what non-custodial means is you do not actually send your crypto to Quidency. You basically connect your exchanges to the platform via API keys. And therefore your cryptos are held on your exchange and are as secure as they can be when being held on an exchange. Now with that all being said, today we're going to be focusing on configuring one of their crypto trading bots. But before we do, you might be wondering what type of an investment is required to get started. And the answer is you can actually get started for free. Their light package is free and that will allow you to have two live crypto trading bots at any given time. And you can run about 10 back tests per day. Now, if you were to step up to the pro plan, that would normally cost you $49 a month. However, I will show you how you can get for free, as you see, free for qualifying users, this pro plan. And for starters, I will drop a link in the description down below. If you follow that link and my instructions on how to get the free pro plan, then you'll have access to 20 active live trading bots at the same time. In addition to, you will pick up 200 back tests per day. So in order to get the pro plan for free, first of all, you click on the link down in the description. You sign up for a new account. And after you've joined the platform, then you just connect one of these official exchange partners to the platform via API keys. And you will receive either three to six months for free if you already have a Binance account, for example, and click on the connect button, you will receive the pro plan for free for three months. Now, if you don't have a Binance account, you can click on open and then connect the account and you'll receive six months free. Same thing with KuCoin, OKX, any one of these exchanges, when you open a new account, you get six months for free. Or if you connect an existing, for example, KuCoin account, you'll get three months for free of their pro plan. And in reality, you have to connect an exchange in order to set up one of the grid bots anyway. So this is a great opportunity to get the pro plan for free. Now, that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to configuring the MACD crypto trading bot. Now, after you've joined the Quadency platform, you'll log into your account. And from there, you'll see across the top toolbar, the tab for bots. You just give that a click and you should land on the page with the available bots. Now, from there, you can find a wide variety of bots anywhere from the MACD, Bollinger Band. They have a market maker. They have a grid trading bot. But today we will be deploying the MACD bot. So we just give that a click on select. And that will pull up the parameters page. And this is where you actually do all the configuration for the MACD strategy trading bot. Now, the way the Quadency MACD crypto trading bot strategy actually works is the strategy is based on the MACD indicator. It buys when the MACD line crosses above the signal line and will sell when the defined exit condition is met. Now, we'll get into some of those details in a moment. If you're not familiar with the MACD indicator, this is what the MACD indicator looks like. The MACD is the blue line that you see and the orange line is the signal line. And so the way the MACD bot strategy will work, anytime the MACD line, the blue line, crosses above the signal line, the orange line, it will put in a buy order. And if we open up the Solana USDT one hour chart, and that is actually the pair we will be trading with this particular bot, you can see where the MACD line or the blue line crosses above the orange line down here on the MACD indicator is also down around the bottom of this current move. And then the price moves up. So an entry on the MACD down here would be a profitable entry on this move up. And if we jump back over here, we see another moment where the MACD crosses over the orange signal line. And again, that is represented in this zone here for another move up. And that is what we're looking for out of this indicator is to signal where the sell off is coming to an end and the momentum is starting to move back up. 
So let's get into configuring this bot. And so from the parameters page, the first thing we need to do is actually name the bot. In this case, I'm just going to call it MACD. Keep it simple. And the exchange, we need to select one of the exchanges we have connected. In this case, today I'll be using Binance US. And then you pick your API keys and in this case again it's going to be Binance US. Next I need to select my market or my pairs and you could select like ADA and you'll see the different pairs available or you might choose ETH but today we will be going with SOL or the Solana token and the pair will be SOL USDT. The next area shows your available balances and I do currently hold some SOL but in reality the bot's going to be using my USDT to make the buy orders. Now the next option is the starting capital amount and in this case I will be giving the bot 500 USDT in ammo to trade with and so each time the MACD line crosses above the signal line it will place a buy order in the full amount of 500 USDT. It will use that entire allotment to execute a buy order. Now we get into the strategy settings and the first option is the candle time frame and you can see you can choose all the way down to one minute up to daily. In this case I have selected one hour. Now I need to actually configure the MACD indicator and so for MACD slow period I have selected 18, for MACD fast period I have selected 9, and for the MACD signal period I have also selected 9. Now before we go too much further I do want to make it clear that this is a how to set up not a how to copy my strategy. You need to do your own recon. I suggest you do a lot of back testing with different configurations of this indicator. And that is where that pro plan and 200 daily back tests can come in handy. You can burn through a lot of back tests trying to adjust these settings. Now I personally actually use these settings in my day trading strategies. So I have quite a bit of experience with these particular settings and kind of have an idea of what to expect out of them. Now the final setting will be the exit condition. So I have basically two options. I can set a take profit and stop loss percentage. And so I could set take profit at say 18% with a stop loss of 9% and that give me a 1 to 2 risk versus reward ratio or I could do it based on indicator confirmation. And if we jump back over to the chart what that indicator confirmation would be is the opposite of the buy signal. So the buy signal is when the MACD line crosses above the signal line where we see that cross right here the blue line crossing above the orange line. Now a sell order would be placed when the MACD crosses down below the signal line or the orange line. So you would see a sell signal right here as the MACD or the blue line crosses down through the signal or the orange line. Same thing over here. You would have a sell signal when this blue line, the MACD line, crosses down through the signal line or the orange line. And so what that would have looked like, as you recall, we would have gotten in down here around the bottom of this move and we would have exited somewhere up around here when the MACD does finally cross through the signal line. So we'd be getting out here before it actually totally sells off. Now there was more of a move left, but that's not really a concern because eventually the MACD does cross back above and are able to ride this back up and take profit multiple times along this move. And so I will select the second option of indicator confirmation. However, again, I suggest you don't copy my strategy. Do your own recon and give both of these a test via the back test feature that Quadency offers. So now I'm going to just give back test a click. And it will ask for a time frame and a one month time frame should be sufficient. So I click the start back test and you see the back test is now initializing and we'll have some results here momentarily. And so our back test is complete and our results came in at a 45%, almost 46% return for a one month back test from June 1st to July 1st. And the total trades the bot executed were 65 trades. And with my starting capital of 500 USDT, my ending capital was 729 USDT. And so the potential profit is 229 USDT. Now I do want to stress backtest results do not guarantee future results. So you do need to take that into consideration. 
Now, if we zoom into the chart that Quadensi provides, they actually show you your entries and they will show you your exits as well on the actual strategy based on the back test. And in this case, you see a little green arrow here. And that would represent the cross of the MACD over the signal line. And it actually executes on the close of the candle. So while the cross happened on this candle, it closes. And then you would get your entry on the start of the new candle. And so we do open a position here. And that position ends up closing over here on the next little red arrow pointing down at this candle. And that would be where the MACD line crosses down through the signal line. And so that is a perfect example on how this strategy should work. And so for me, these results, in my opinion, would be winning the battle. So let's do a quick recap of the parameters. Basically, the name of the strategy is MACD. Exchange I will be using is Binance US. The market is Seoul USDT. The amount of ammo I'm giving the bot is 500 USDT. The time frame is the one hour candles. The MACD slow period is 18. The MACD fast period is nine. The MACD signal period is nine. And I selected option two for my exit condition and that is indicator confirmation. And so that's pretty much it as far as configuration. So let's deploy this bot to some live fire. So we come over here to start live, give that a click. And it will want to confirm what exchange I want to use. And Binance US is correct. So we click start live mode. And you can see the bot is initializing. And now the bot is in live mode. And so that pretty much wraps it up. Now, if you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. I will be doing update videos in the future on how this bot is actually performing. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss those update videos in the future. If you have any questions or comments, drop those in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Quadensi in the description down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.